Good morning friends, I am Bridges and today I will help you in calculating the mobile app development cost in India. So there are various factors that affect mobile application development cost and in this article I have tried to get all the factors that affect the mobile app development cost in India to get some approximate value in US dollars. So if you aggregate and see the factors are application complexity, platform type, mobile app type, developer type, location type, state type, types of screens, experience level of developer and the custom functionality in the application. If we see based on app complexity, there can be simple apps or moderately complex app or can be a very complex app. So based on app complexity, uh, we have given these rates and I will also share the link of the URL in the description so that in future you can refer to this page. So I will uh, give you the brief overview of uh, how the cost or how the factors affect the cost and platform types. So platform types you need to decide like which type of platform you want to go for. For example, it can be iOS or Android or both or even cross platform is available so that uh, the applications runs even on the website, Windows uh, phone and all other phones. Second, next is mobile type. Now, what is mobile type? So there we can uh, categorize mobile types into uh, like social media applications, messaging applications, e-commerce stores and shopping stores and health and fitness apps. So all the categories have different price, price range based on their functionality and uh, other stuff. So these are all the types like social media and we have covered travel food there are a lot of types we have covered dating apps uh, augmented reality and everything so you can go into the details so now you know like uh, the types of application okay so let's see the developer types so developer types uh, we have bifurcated into uh, mobile app agencies freelance developers and offshore development companies and also in-house and the web builders so based on your condition and criteria you can you have to decide like which developer type you want to go for you want to go for agencies or you want if it's a small project if you are yourself a little bit of technical then you can also go for freelance developer or some offshore development companies so based on the developer type the prices vary. Okay, so next is uh, the location type. So in India, there are a lot of states, and every state has different type of education quality, and uh, the colleges uh, where they teach programming and uh, development IT related stuff. So based on states, uh, the price per hour varies. So over here, we have taken the average price. Uh, the specific ranges to give uh, some synopsis or a brief idea of how uh, the price is calculated or like based on uh, some development work for example if you have some changes in your application then uh, based on hours you can uh, see like what will be your uh, average cost you need to uh, pay while making the changes in your uh, existing mobile application okay so these are state wise Next is uh, metro types. Uh, metros are like you can say major cities in India and the major one are Mumbai, Delhi, NCR, Bangalore and Chennai. Okay, so every city has a uh, different price range. So this will be helpful for you if you are like uh, if you are giving some task or mobile application development to in a particular city then this will be very helpful to you. Second screen, like many uh, many clients, they don't have much idea, but they just have some screen. So this section 
will be very useful for them like uh, the total number of screen based on the screen uh, the charges are there so one to five screen like two thousand to ten thousand USD and all the stuff again uh, based on complexity also depends in case if you have any confusion or uh, want to get help in uh, like getting the quotation or the cost of mobile app development then you can surely get in touch with me and I will try my best to help you out and there is no obligation like okay as I have given you the quotation or course then you have to just you have to work with me no that's not the thing I'm here to help you correct so you should be happy and feel trusted and be confident okay so you can surely get in touch with me anytime and I will be helping you with whatever best I can and based on experience also uh, the charges are where I for example if you if the developer is an entry level developer then it can be 15 to 40 uh, range so mid level developer and specialist developer charges very high and it's a complex or niche projects for example AR related or AI related where it's a very complex uh, particular stuff to do then we you need to go for a specialist okay and so there is no other option for that so now uh, based on const custom functionality also uh, the price varies custom functionality can be like basic intermediate or uh, advanced feature and functionality so based on that uh, we have given the price range and uh, now the key features in the mobile application that affects the cost are like usage of AR and VR then real-time messaging and chatting video streaming and broadcasting complex gaming feature complex data processing and analysis e-commerce and pay payment gateway integrations location based services where we need to track a real time location with uh, GPS Wi-Fi and mm -hmm. the next is social media integration where it's a complex uh, coding and complex logic in that advanced security and encryption and complex API integration so as I said the features also affect the cost of your mobile application development now top ways to save money on mobile application development is like uh, you have to be very clear of your requirement because if you are not clear of all your requirement then there will be a lot of to and fro and there will be a lot of time wasted uh, in terms of uh, your time as well as the developer's time, developer's time. so you have to be very, very clear of your requirements so here also I can help you if you are not sure of your requirement then you can call me on whatsapp or we can have uh, some zoom meeting or google meet whatever you are comfortable with and i can help you with uh, your requirements and i will also help you with the wireframes to make sure your requirement is very clear and can be understood by anyone or any developer who's working on that right. now next is prioritize the features you need to uh, prioritize like what are the important features for example if you are building an app and it is a big application okay then you need to find out like uh, first uh, there will be different type of phases so you need to prioritize like what you need for MVP app then what will be the next in next phase so that you can also monitor the development and also get the feedback from the market as well as the clients next is uh, choosing the platform is also very important if you want to go for iOS or Android that is important then uh, hiring the development team then using the open source, source libraries and uh, then agile development consider MVP development outsource not core tasks you can uh, outsource some of the tasks and some of the tasks you can keep in house then testing and refining and uh, plan for long term maintenance okay so hope uh, I have answered your question and uh, this session was very helpful to you and in case if you have any doubt or any questions you can get in touch with me you can comment or even go to the website and let's go to the website or you can send me a whatsapp message 
or even call or you can send me a WhatsApp message and I will reply as soon as possible. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed the session and uh, the session was uh, valuable to you. So see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.